Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl McKay here and honestly, I just wanted to do this video because um, I haven't really, I've kind of been like MIA. I mean, yeah, I've been streaming and whatnot, but um, not so much on YouTube. I mean, I have videos recorded, but I haven't just, I haven't had the urge to just edit them. Like, it's, I've, I feel like it's just a moment where, oh, I did a vlog, I'm just gonna put it up on YouTube, just put it up on there, and I don't know, I haven't been really motivated to do that, um, but this morning when I woke up, I was like, you know, let me, let me just record a video of just what's been going on with me, and, um, and yeah, so one of the things that some of you guys may not know uh i started doing smile direct right here smile direct so this is the box that they give me and the reason why i got smile direct is because um when i first had my original invisaligns uh, i lost my retainers and then my teeth started to shift back and at first i was like oh whatever i accept it but then um i didn't really accept it because then like people were like oh did you have braces and i was like yeah i lost my retainers so then i kind of became insecure about it and then i it just became like all right well you know let's try it again and uh, try to reorganize my teeth back to what they are it's not that bad like if you look up at them like straight straight on you can't tell but I don't know <laughs> I could tell so that's why I'm doing them again because I could tell yeah, people don't notice them, uh, that they're a little bit crooked or whatnot, but I could tell and I just want them to just be a realigned back to what they were. But yeah, so this is a cute little box that they give me. And then like when you open it up, it has all their like stuff. It says share your smile journey. So, I mean, this is not like, oh, hey guys, like I'm actually you know trying to get sponsored or anything this is not sponsored i'm paying money out of my pocket to do this um and they give you like a cute ass guide of what to do what not to do um all that stuff they do also i don't use these but they gave you a little um like little pick thing so to help you like take them out but I already have experience with Invisalign so I just like and they just come straight out they also give you um these little chew things they're like white so what what you're supposed to do is when you put the invis the retainers in um you're supposed to chew on these uh a liner like chew things instead of using your teeth because what's gonna happen when you put a new set in it's not gonna fit completely properly so you have to chew on something to like fit into your mouth I don't use these I just use like a like a washcloth or I don't know like regular paper towel all that is still the same but I like the idea that they do give you these just in case um, just for convenience if you don't have anything around you can use these um, they also give you a whitener cream I haven't used this as well I'm waiting until I finish my whole journey um, I want to wait until my teeth are completely straight to uh, use this so um, when you go for your appointment they give you a like thing that you put in your mouth I don't know where it is because it's just 
chilling somewhere. You put it in your mouth and it's like an LED light, but you put this on, on top of it first. You gla uh, glaze it on top of your teeth, put the LED light, um, you wait for like 10 minutes and it's supposed to whiten your teeth. But you can't drink anything that will stain your teeth within 24 hours. So, I don't really feel the need of doing it yet. Because I go to the dentist pretty often. And I feel like every time I go to the dentist, it's kind of technically cleaning my teeth. So, I am on month two, week three to four weeks. I've already finished. Oh, where is it? So, they come in also these like cute cute little trays that you just like pull out so this was my first week with first two months that I already com completed and I personally I don't know this is maybe just me I like keeping my retainers just looking at my progress of like how how far my teeth have come along uh, so and then just in case that I lose the uh, the ones I'm currently wearing, I can go back and use the other ones and then order um, the set that I'm supposed to be on. It will push you back a little bit, but you know, what What can you do about it? So that's why I, I keep, I mean, you don't have to keep all of them just like a week after, um, you know, yeah. So it comes in these cute little trays. And if you, so this is the one that, this is next month. So. It comes like this, it's super easy. It's ridiculously easy. It'll tell you what month you're on, what week, and then change it to the following week. And then this one you wear it um, two weeks in a row. And they'll give you like instructions on the back. It's so freaking easy. They give you everything. The f My first experience with uh, Invisaligns is that I had to go to the dentist like every, two weeks so they'll give you like a set of three then you have to go to the dentist check in make sure everything is going well and i was just like i don't know by the way it is hot it is so hot that's why i'm doing youtube video because well let me go into that later and so in my last two months i'm going to be doing this one well it says because they don't give you your their give you your retainers after so they're like oh nice you're almost there order your retainers and then da 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 and i'm like all right cool but so far i love the experience that i have had with them they do give you a little case. I don't know where it is right now. I, I thought I set myself up for success. Honestly, I didn't do it that well. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm wearing my braces right now. It's kind of fun. I like it a lot, honestly. Oh, it's way over there. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Okay, another thing that you have may or may not have noticed is that I officially have gauges in my ears and I just put these in yesterday. Now the reason why I decided, well, okay, so this one looks bigger than this one. It's because this one has been pulled for some reason. I don't know why. Like I always had this issue when I was younger, like 13. Whatnot. And I think it like over the years of me just putting earrings in it just it just pulls on it now my hole is the hole in my ear is pretty big so I was kind of over it and I'm not a person that likes changing out my earrings anyways 
So I was like, well, this is kind of perfect. Just make them into gauges. So when I put this one in, this was already a gauge. And then I think this one's a 14 gauge. Let me just check. So the, here goes all of them. They give you all of these. These were like $14. It wasn't even that expensive. So... So this is, okay, so this one is a 14, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. There goes the 14 gauges right there. Isn't that crazy how small they are? That's how crazy small they are. And then this ear is an 8 gauge. Like, look how much bigger that is. This is, it's ridiculously how big. So I stretched this out just a little bit. I could have fit uh a 10 gauge would have fit per like easy done super easy and it's pretty it's still like this i was surprised how big this hole is but i don't know what my end goal is these double zeros are really scary i think i might stop at two gauge yeah, I might stop at a two gauge. I think the two gauges are kind of cute, honestly. I think the two gauges are cute. The sizes. I think the max I'll go is like zero gauge if you wanna. Come on, fuckers. There you go, see? See how big that is? That's, that's like, that'd be like a pretty good like size. I think this is like a cute size, but I kind of want it a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's what's been going on with me. Um, big update. I'm shining like there is no other. I am no joke. It is hot. It is so freaking hot. This light is that. Anyways, so a couple just rant time a couple of things that's been going on with me is that I'm well my mom that I currently live with she told me that I kind of need to move out within uh, four to six months I'm trying to push it to at least six seven months and um you know when when she told me when she told me this it kind of like hurt my heart a little bit because like i i've always wanted to move out but it just didn't make sense to me why i should rush and move out like it was it didn't make sense to me yeah i wanted to i wanted to like live my own life but as in money wise it just was like well i could just save up you know and just stay here suck it up like try to make it work with my family you know i think that's at the long end that's what i kind of wanted my relationship to be it's like I kind of want this to work so I can just stay here you know like when you think when you look at other families like other families kind of like stick together they like pay off the house and whatever they gotta do but they all just stick together and they want everyone to be there and whatnot so I kind of wanted that same mentality for my family but I don't know like my mom tells me that she's kind of just like over it which i understand like she's starting to get older she kind of needs to think about herself and what she's going to do about her retirement and that's what kind of like motivated me to really want to help her more and you know like be there yeah, we don't like agree on certain things, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it just makes sense for all of us to just work together and just stick it out here because, like, 
California ain't easy, especially living in the Bay, like actually the core foundation of the Bay. And, um, but yeah, she was like, yeah, you got like four to six months. And then me, I'm being a little dramatic, I ain't gonna lie, but I always wanted to do this. But it was just certain things that held me back, like me wanting to work it out with my family, staying here, saving money, or like my ex-boyfriend, me him being here i'm staying here all this kind of stuff so like now since she has since i let go of that feeling of like oh my god you want to kick me out <laughs> i'm over it so now i'm just like all right so what do you what do michaela really want to do yes you want to move out but where bitch where so I was like, you know what? How about you move to LA? And I, and honestly, I always, always wanted to move to LA. I just had this, this urge to be like, you know what? I'm done. Like, let's just go. Just go, McKay. Just go live in LA. See if it works. If it doesn't, you can always come back to the Bay where all your friends are here and all that. Yeah, some people are like, but you, but like your friends are here and like your family is here and you built your business here. Yes, I am very aware of that. I'm very aware. But there's also this type, this urge, this feeling in my gut that is telling me this is your time now. Yes, I just started working at a new salon and I freaking, I appreciate all of them. Even my old salon, I got to see, and that's that's what's like mind blows me because it's just like I got to experience both of these salons that are completely different from me amongst each other in different ways and I got to learn from both of them and it's not me like oh like oh I'm I just came here to learn and I'm gonna peace out no that that was that never came to it it's just this path that I'm, that I'm on is leading me towards another direction. Like I feel like life is like, you know, you learn the things that you need to learn here. You met amazing people. Your personality has came out. And I think that's the craziest thing because like my, my personality at the first one I was, it was so limited and it, it was hard for me to express myself. And then now I, I went to another salon where they expressed themselves and did amazing work on top of it. Made me just want to fucking grow into these amazing flowers and you just see how like beautiful life is just being yourself and all this and I think that's that's the reason why I went to well I didn't I didn't know what was gonna come out of it you know but me making that decision to be like hey you did it like all right what what now that you did it what is gonna come out of it you know like you had this urge in your stomach telling you you need to go and you did it. you listened and you did it now you need to figure out what is the lesson that you need to learn because you went on that urge and I think that's what it was it was just me yes they're all amazing stylists and I've I've learned how to be a better stylist from them but they also taught me to truly express myself like my full like personality and just just saying it it was it's not like just like oh you're being a bitch nah I'm just saying like oh this is how I feel I feel like it's not okay da da da, -da. or I don't I don't even know how to truly explain it but I just feel like I'm in such 
this great place where it prepped me to become a great stylist in LA. Now my whole goal of me going to LA is mainly, you know, I'm a gamer, I'm a Twitch streamer, I love it. You guys know I love it. Now, how can I evolutionize that, right? I'm a hairstylist. I want to go to these big shows, cut gamers' hair, haircuts, you know, just relate. That's like, that's what I need to do. I can cut, like, I don't know, TSM, Team, I can cut Cloud9, whatever, like, whatever it is, World of Warcraft, like, you, I'm there. And that's, and in order for me to do that, I need to move to LA. Because in the Bay Area, they're just all tech here. Yes, I can talk about computers and stuff because I built my own computer. Yes, we can talk about that. But that's not, that's not where my true passion is. Like, I want to talk about gaming. I want to talk about League. I want to talk about Fortnite. I want to talk about World, uh, World of Warcraft. E3 conventions that are coming up. Like, Fanime, Comic Con. All those, like, nerdy shit. I just want to talk to someone and also make them feel good about themselves because I just gave them a bomb ass haircut and now they feel super inspired. Now they're going to fucking win this game and win fucking millions. And I'm like, yo, welcome. <laughs> and now they're going to be like, yo, but can't come back. So that's, that's why, you know. Don't get me wrong, I'm fucking scared of shit. I'm so fucking scared. And me being scared and fear, like my inner fear is what's gonna hold me back. And I understand that people have told me that and I'm truly trying to work on it. But at the end of the day, like I will slowly break down those barriers to get to that goal. You know what I'm saying? So, people are, people are still gonna ask me, why, why do you wanna move to LA? It's because I feel like I'm gonna become the best person I'm gonna be when I move out there. It's gonna be hard. I under I know it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna be struggling. I don't know if I'm gonna pay all my bills and shit. I don't know where I'm gonna live and all this kind of stuff. But the fact that people, a little part of me is like people are doubting me, makes me want to do it more. Like I'm I'm like thriving off of people. Like oh like. You're not, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna have money. You're not gonna do all this kind of stuff. Like, what, what are you gonna do? And I'm, just to be hilarious, I'm just like, just be a fucking troll. I'm just like, well then I'll be homeless. You know, I'll, I'll just be homeless. I'll figure it out. <sighs> I guess I kind of made this video to just hype myself up at the end of it. You know, to truly say it because now I'm putting it in stone. It's official. Like, once I upload this, boop, that's what you gotta do, but okay? Like, I can't turn around now. Like, I can't, <laughs> I can't turn around. You know, like, I said I wanna go to LA, bitch, you go to LA now. Like, you put it out there in the universe, you told the world, you're telling yourself, like, that's it. That's, that's, this is it. Like, I know in like six months how this shit can happen, but I'm just saying, like, I gotta do it now. <sighs> Anything else? Nope. 
Um, nope, I don't think there's anything else. So, if you guys like this video, uh, leave a leave a comment below. Leave, leave leave that comment below. Let me know how you how you feel. What did you react to or whatnot? Anyway, subscribe, like, wait, oh, subscribe, like, uh, comment and like put that little like bell notification i don't know why i did this like i'm not gonna put a i'll probably put a bell notification like boop you know so you don't miss a video with your girl mckay king <laughs>